What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host, Big Lock Daddy. Chilling with you here on Spreaker tonight. Chilling. See what's up. Listen to some Metallica right here coming up. You know, they're my fave. So, we were supposed to have Gearshift JB on the podcast this evening. He will not be able to join us. He's got him some tickets to go see something with his uh, his lady. So, he will not be here with us this evening. And that's okay. That is okay. I wanted to talk about a couple of things right off the hop here. Number one. Thanks for joining us. Go ahead. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. You can do it here at Spreaker. You can check out my YouTube channel. I also have Instagram, Facebook, all the social medias, Tumblr, Twiddler, 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 Twitter. All of it. Big Lock Daddy. Pop my name in Google. See what comes out. Like, subscribe. And hey, down in the doodly do below the description, the description link for this broadcast you can find a whole bunch of goodness go ahead check those out you just might be winning there we go listen to charlie sheen he knows right charlie yeah no yeah charlie has problems sometimes but he's he's only something on the surface you know Hmm. So, a couple of thoughts here. Friday night, we're chilling here on the broadcast. Me by myself, Big Lock Daddy. Thank you. Hunt you down on that man long. Okay, that's not the right genre, but it happens. So, a couple of thoughts. Number one. Have you been to BigLockDaddy.com? Have you seen the proposal yet? Check it out, folks, if you haven't already. I put it up there on BigLockDaddy.com. It's all good stuff. The link in Fox RTV is broken. That's my fault. My bad. I'm stupid. It happens. Big Lock stupid. Sometimes I am. It does happen. Mistakes were made. Big Lock Daddy, mistakes were made. It's like Call of Duty. Mistakes were made. Don't do drugs. Oh. But check it out. Also, I wanted to point out something too. If you are not a member of the PackCoin Discord, yes, I've been. I'm talking about PackCoin again. I'm always going to talk about it. Well, not always, but maybe. I don't know. They pay me to. Why not? Who wouldn't? But the other thing is, I own some of my own. Just some, not a lot. Trust me. I gave most of it away. You all know. Did it right here. But I talk about PackCoin again. Because we hunt you down without mercy. Hunt you down on night mare long. Yeah, that's PackCoin. Hunt you down all night mare long, baby. You know what I mean? Uh, number one, I still own some. Number two, uh sugar it's good i have so much crap in front of me and i have so much in my head and none of it wants to come out it's so weird you ever had that problem you just got a bunch of shit running around inside your head and you're just like you know what i gotta get it out but nothing nothing that's how i'm kind of feeling right now (sighs) pack coin it's been a long day Not a bad day, just a long one. And that's the thing, folks. You know what? You don't think about it when you get into it, but hey, it is what it is. And it's a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun doing these shows. I like talking about PatCoin, but at the same time, I feel like that's all I'm talking about lately. Um, I wanted to put it up. Did anybody see Brad Marsh's live stream tonight? Did you catch that? It was interesting. I watched it. It was very interesting. 
Check it out over at the YouTube, the PatCoin YouTube, if you haven't seen it. It's a good watch. There's a lot of good stuff on there. There was a lot of good YouTube content out there tonight. Another guy I like, Doug Polk, he put out a, <laughs> he put out a video. I love his content, man. I just love it. Big fan of his and uh, kind of inspired. One of the inspirations inspired me to look into PatCoin in the first place. Um, you know, he's a, he's a scam hunter. He's a good guy. Seems like a good guy. Watch his video from tonight and you'll see what I mean. Um, he does this thing with the glasses. <laughs> yeah, it made me laugh. I'm like, I'm sitting there like, shit, I wear glasses all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I look like an idiot. Sure, why not? Hey, I never told you guys I don't look like an idiot. Did I ever say that? No, I never said that. Um, but if I do, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> But it was funny. Like, his videos lately have been really good. Um, his content is really good, too. So, if you haven't seen him, um, if you own Verge, I, I definitely don't think you should kill and watch his videos. He likes to take shots at Verge, but uh, he does bring up some good points about that. Um, I also thought at one point he would try and take a look at this coin and see what it is, what it's going to do. Um, but I urge you to take a look at his video from tonight. It was not only funny, but it was informative. Um, he's the guy that plays poker. He played on the World Poker Tour. Plays. Uh, I don't really pay attention to any of that. That's none of my... I like poker, and don't forget, they're playing pack poker over in the pack poker rooms tonight. It's good times. It's great times. Let me see if the chat's going on anything over here. Yeah, no. Feels lonely in here. Be the first to send a message. I think I will. In my chat room, I'm going to say hello. But you know what? Let me finish the Doug Polk thing because he is funny. Um, if you haven't seen his video from tonight, go check it out. It's good stuff. And, uh, yeah. Bust it. So, with that being said, um, Packwing, what's it doing? Let's see what it's doing right now. We'll do a live check-in on the price of Pack. Did y'all hear Break Crypto's leaving? Oh, I was bummed. I got the notification of that last night, and I was bummed. I like that guy. I interviewed him. He was a good interview. Talked really well. Um, real good talker. And uh, let's hope that he moves on to bigger and better things, and for whatever reasons has, you know, stuff in his life that I hope it goes well for you, sir. Hey, Crypto Curious, see you in the chat room. Doing well, sir. Doing well. Glad to see it tonight. I'd see. I do have fans. They do get online. I love this. It's good stuff. What y'all have to look forward to is the uh, live broadcast where I do the YouTube lives and this show at the same time. <laughs> Who says I can multitask? I can do two things at once. Can't walk and chew gum, but I can broadcast video and audio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how that works, but hopefully we'll get that technology up and in the box pretty soon. It's going to be a good time, Joe. Replying to Crypto Curious in the chats. I got to learn how to do this for YouTube. You know what I mean? So when I get over there, I can chat with my... Yes. Oh, you're in Ireland. Oh, that's phenomenal. Phenomenal. The pubs just let out over in Ireland. Turn on Big Lock Daddy and blast it from the speakers. We'll turn up the Metallica for you over in Ireland. I know you guys eat that shit up. So, Packwin, we're going to check the price of that real quick. See what's going on. All right. ADD kicking hard tonight. So did you see? Okay, so this is what I wanted to get to, and this is what I want to spotlight because I saw a piece of literature yesterday. Brad posted in the Discord, which I was talking about earlier. Um, if you're not a member of the Discord, get over there for the Packcoin Discord. If you get over there and you get in the Discord, you'll find there's an important news section. In the important news, Brad yesterday posted a... Uh, Gosh, what do you call this? It's I, I, I guess it's a road. It's almost like a roadmap, but not an official roadmap 
Um, Robin Mathis. Robin Mathis wrote this whole workup on PatCoin, the future, all about the hunter gatherer. If you have this stuff, is brilliant, brilliant, Robin. I can't. Amazing, amazing. That is amazing. I'm gonna try and reach out to Robin on uh, through social media, and hopefully, if Robin wants to talk, we can get him on the broadcast. Um, I'd really like to talk to the person behind the piece on that because that was really well written. Um, I must say, and and. <laughs> pointing out the different generations of, of cryptos and pack and how pack is it's just the way he tied everything together was absolutely amazing so if you haven't been to the discord you haven't seen that link yet um you can find brad's link from his interview in the pack discord important news you can find robin mathis's piece in the pack discord and uh hey Good things are happening here, folks. The community is contributing. Things are coming out, you know. I was talking to the guys in the Discord chat the other day, and uh, they were talking about Pack Life, the website. That's going to be coming up very soon. Um, we can't wait to see what that's going to have. Uh, you create a whole community based around the coin and and all that stuff, and it's just it it can be something that's super amazing. Um, if it's done right and that's the key with break crypto leaving you have chase taking the reins of the innovation team and we're going to see what chase has got so we're looking at hoping to talk to him too um so those are two decent interviews i'm really hoping to have um with brad marsh having him i again being the number three uh you know in, in the coming weeks so i'd still like to the proposal's out there. It's running. You all know what I'm doing. Go check it out. But uh, those are the three interviews that I'd like to do next. Um, I think they're they're really informative. We'll get some really good info, and we'll have a good time. And that's what I'm all about. The Outlaw Torn. That's me, Big Lock Daddy, chilling with you here on a Friday night, giving you my commentary, thoughts, anything that comes into my stupid brain. Pretty much, that's how I roll. You know, we got this pack project coming up. Another project popped up today. Something else got dropped into my lap. Um, which, and this was another announcement I was going to have to make too. I, I've got to cut back my uh, productions. The schedule that I'm doing right now, I have to. I, I need to cut back production as far as how many days a week that I go live and do this for right now. Um, especially while the pack proposal's up in the air. You know, donations aren't what they once were, and I'm not bitching and asking for them. Um, but I'll tell you right now, they weren't what they were when I started a month ago, and that's okay. I expected to be strong out of the gate, and whatever happens, happens. But a man's got to eat, and a man's got to take care of his family, and things need to get done. So I need to adjust the schedule for the upcoming week. That's what's going to happen here. I'm going to cut two shows out of next week. Two shows will be cut. Um, I will be live Monday night. It's probably going to be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing. I'm, I'm thinking about cutting out Tuesday and Thursday. Because those seem to be the heaviest days for me just as a person in general. So, next week we're going to three shows. They're going to be three live streams, though. It's going to be all YouTube content. And if I decide to throw up anything extra, it'll be right here on Spreaker. I like doing this. You know, I'd like to, I'd like to, instead of next Friday night doing the show here, like I normally do, I'll do a live YouTube with, you know, Gearshift JB. Because I told him, I says, dude, I'd love to have you like every week and we can just chill and shoot the shit. You know, if you're up for it and you got the time, we'll do it. We're also at some point going to try and jump back into the pack Discord voice chat, which, <laughs> which will be fun because that always is fun. Ooh. Yeah, welcome to Florida. If you didn't have allergies when you when you moved here, you will. That's how it rolls. It roll like this. Yeah, I'm only seeing two in the chat talks. I don't think there's anybody over on my channel. I'll take a look though. Yeah. I gotta add a voice channel. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna go get some of the stuff done in a few minutes. I'm I'm not done with the show just yet. Don't go anywhere. We're still working. We're still rolling. Metallica's still playing. I still have stuff on my mind. Not much, though. 
I don't plan on focusing on other coins mostly. I just plan on, you know, I wanted to put Pack against some of the others. I know Pack's more of a new Johnny Come Lately. It's not even the coin it started out as. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's not even the same coin that, that Pack coin was. That's why there's that, that saying new Pack, old Pack, um, all that crap. And. You know, and that's what people don't understand. I, I spend half of my day fielding questions on YouTube and emails about how come Cryptopia I bought? Oh, are you kidding me? Like, I know. See, here's the thing. I know from being a trader and buying and doing my fair share of buying that if I'm going to buy a coin, I got to know something about it first. Now, when I first got into pack, I didn't know hardly anything about it, but I looked up a couple of things real quick just to make sure it wasn't a dead coin. And by dead coin, I mean there's no action, there's no value, there's no nothing. I had seen it in the chat room. Somebody was talking about it. Next thing you know, price is going up, jumps again, jumps again. You take some interest. You go, oh, this coin's starting to move after a little while. But then again, you got to look at the time. In that time frame, from early December right through early January, there was a, there was so much there was so much pumped into the crypto markets. It's crazy. Then you take the news we just got yesterday that um, the Federal Reserve is looking at cryptos, but not yeah. <sighs> Everybody is now the IMF is talking about cryptos. Federal Reserve is talking about cryptos. Everybody knows the current fiat system is broken. Doesn't matter if you're trading in dollars, pounds. You know what I mean? Like you can you can listen to anybody talking about the old English system of tally sticks and and whatnot and how that went down. People coming and taking your tally sticks and and all that shit. And God, I couldn't imagine what something like that would look like today. I mean, you could you could electronically confiscate somebody's assets to a point but what i mean you could come and take their stuff and do whatever you got to do but i don't know how it's going to go with all that but i know cryptos offer they do offer the way they are currently they do offer some sort of truth ultimate truth in finance so and, and that's the thing i'm sticking to that's the you know the point that's why i like them because i don't have to have receipts i don't have to kill trees I mean, yes, we have to power the system, and right now that is absolutely a ridiculous cost. But if you're in the right place, a place where electronic electricity is cheap, and it pays to mine, China, Venezuela, India, places you can electro, you know, manufacture a lot of electricity period but that's always been the, the the achilles heel as far as the electricity goes that's always been the achilles heels of the crypto if there's no electricity there's no currency it might be the ultimate truth but if the system's not running the system's not running and that was one of the things when i looked at you know looking into things like okay what happens if the network goes down what happens if a certain amount of master nodes get taken out of the a certain amount of master notes get taken out of the, the equations. You know what I mean? Like, what happens then? You know, and, and I was talking about it with someone, and they said, well, you know, you lose a certain amount of master notes, you know, all the... the how did he say it? I'm not going to do it justice, so I'm not going to try, but the bottom line that I walked away from the conversation was is that the system would still run if all the master nodes went down um, or a significant portion of them went offline. Um, how many, how many would disrupt, you know, speed, network traffic, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, but I'm not really questioning things in that, in that manner anymore, because honestly, and, and this is the overriding point of all that in order to have that situation, you would literally have to have a massive worldwide interruption of either both electronic or internet or both a massive outage a massive this a massive that and if number one if that were to happen it would not only affect this coin but it would affect every coin 
it would affect every crypto asset because they all run on electricity and internet. I mean, the fact that you have small networks that can keep, you know, accurate records and then get with the block and then do this and then do that and then do this and do that and certain ones will do this and some will fail and some will succeed. Certain features on some might lead to their downfall while certain, uh, you know, certain features on others that you never really paid attention to before because they didn't really matter may now become relevant. This market, this, this atmosphere everything in the crypto game is going to change if you think this is the way it's gonna end i got news for you this we are still in just the beginning there is no more you know it's not like oh we've you know i've been in this market since 2009 i was around when bitcoin was created You feel like you've been here a lifetime already, and it's still brand new. Society hasn't picked it up yet, and if they do, if they pick it up, they're going to run with it. And if they run with it, they're going to run with the most popular. Brad made a point in his live stream tonight. He says you can't put a currency up against something that's been around since 2013 or something that's been around for a long time. I almost say why not, and I know he had more to his point than that, and I'm not really challenging him, but I say why not if your currency's that good? Like, you put Litecoin up against Bitcoin, and Litecoin wins as far as it's it's cheap, it's fast, it's, you know, on, on the system it runs on, because that is a direct fork of Bitcoin. It's another one of the forks. Come on. You know what I mean? Like... Give me a break. Like, those are the ones where, again, and it comes back to if everything shuts down, the last thing you're going to have to worry about is money. You better worry about food as currency. And there ain't no crypto food. I don't see those little Star Trek food handler things fucking popping up out of everywhere, making people roast beef sandwiches and shit. You know what I mean? Like, come on. You can't, yeah, you might be able to reproduce money. You might have truth in financing, whatever. But if the system goes down, we're all fucked. (laughs) So don't worry about it. You know what? You get into the game, you do what you do. You try not to get scammed. You try not to get played. I'm trying not to get played too. We'll see how it goes. In other news, my... (laughs) I was going to go all Bruce Almighty on you there. My tiny little nipples went to France. (laughs) Love those movies. Bruce Almighty, Evan Almighty. Wow, that's a real paradox right there. Let's listen to this song by Metallica while talking about two godly movies. Interesting. Anyway, guys, I think I'm done bloviating for the evening. Make sure you go check out that Doug Polk video I was telling you about on YouTube. It's funny. It's friggin' funny. I think it's uh, the headline on it is uh, the gloves are off, Italic Buterin, and uh, attacks Coinbase or something like that. Hang on, I'm looking for it. Oh, gross. Shut up. Um... Goodbye. No, 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 no. No. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm just hitting buttons. Arr. Yeah, so. What was I looking for again? <laughs> Make sure you go check out Doug Pug, Doug Pugs. Oh God, Doug Polk did a video tonight. I was looking for the name of it. It is called. I'm zeroing in on it as we speak. No, I don't want YouTube TV. I just want regular YouTube. Ooh, I'm gonna plug a few YouTubers here. I'm gonna get to my, back to my roots. 
Uh, if you've never heard of this, uh, I'm looking for the Doug Polk thing, by the way. Hold on, I'll give you that first, because I said I was going to, and if I don't do it now, I'm going to completely forget. Just having one of those things. All right, the name of the video is... It's Doug Polk Crypto uploaded shots fired. Vitalik Buterin declares war on Coindesk. Okay, the other thing I was going to get to as well, Bright Sun Films, if you don't know who this kid is, his name's Jake Williams. Uh, he does this series called Abandoned, where um, he goes through, well, he has he has a couple series on there. He does one called Abandoned, where they go through the how, you know, like, abandon this, abandon that. Um he shows how the place used to be something big and how it, it fell on hard times. Uh, he's done a few really, really good Disney videos here in Florida. He seems to love Disney. Um, but his content is really tight. If you want to watch some fascinating stuff about some stuff that either does, does exist, doesn't exist, should have existed, or used to exist but does not anymore, this is the guy you want to watch. Jake Williams, Bright Sun Films. That's the name of his YouTube channel. Check him out. He's got the story of Montgomery Ward. Abandoned Montgomery Ward. I'm going to check that out. Oh, we got Brad addressing the FUD. That's very good. And the Doug Polk video, which I just told you about. Make sure you go check those out. It's good times. Uh... Thank you, Crypto Curious, for joining me here in the chats. Appreciate it, bud. I look forward to hearing from you soon again, too. I'll be back Monday night. Remember, folks, doing three shows next week. Still going to keep the same time of... I know I said I was going to do five. Six. My normal time is eight. I know you guys are tired. you got to stay up till two if you want to see me or one or whatever it is. You got kids. I'm going to try and figure something out. We'll figure something out here and try and get a good schedule going. Uh, lock it in and uh, keep doing some good content. Hopefully you enjoyed the show, the broadcast. Thank you very much. I'm Big Lock Daddy. You all have a wonderful evening. I will see you Monday evening. I'm going to go with 8 p.m. That sounds good to me. I'm going to do an 8 p.m. show Monday. I said I was going to do a 5 or 6. Why don't we try 6? We'll go 6 p.m. Monday. 6. I'm going to stick to that. 6. I promise. 6 p.m. Monday, I will be here. I will definitely be here. So join me, 6 p.m., Monday, live stream, my YouTube channel. I'm Big Lock Daddy. I'll be back then. More news, more information, maybe an interview. Who knows? I could just sit there and pick my butt on screen, too, if you like. Whatever. It's all good in the hood. I'll catch you all later. Take care, folks. Have a great night.